So today we are heading into the Dollar Tree to see all of the beautiful Christmas ornaments and holiday activities they have, maybe some stocking stuffer ideas, and the few things that they probably still have out for Thanksgiving. I'm so, so excited. I am the classroom mom for my daughter's kindergarten class. I'm looking to pick up an, an activity for them to do and also maybe a few new Christmas ornaments um, since I got a brand new tree this year um, to decorate for Christmas and I'm so excited about that. But today's video is in collaboration with my good YouTube friend Jay Morell from Large Family Table. Um, Jay Morell is really a real life superhero. Not only does she share content on how, to, how she feeds her family of 10 um, on a budget, she does a lot of freezer meals and meal prep but she also homeschools her children which is so impressive to me I've looked up to Jay Morrell for so long because not only does she do, do all those things that I just mentioned but she's an awesome example of a mompreneur re really having a successful online business and I've always looked up to her um, about that I'm so thankful that I'm able to collab with her so make sure you guys go check out her video check out her channel subscribe I know you'll love it leave her a comment and let her know that I sent you and if you are from Jay Morrell's channel or if this is your first time watching me hello welcome to my channel my name is Gia and I post a lot of Costco hauls grocery hauls Costco is my favorite store cooking cleaning all of that great motivation that some of us moms need from time to time I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button down below as well as the little bell next to it and for those already subscribed welcome back all right that's enough of me yapping let's get into the Dollar Tree and see what they got extended holiday hours Ooh, so exciting. Let's see, where do I start? You ever put these window cleans in your car? I think my girls would really like it. Do they come off easy? Leave a comment down below and let me know. I know these do, but I feel like they would just play with these nonstop. <laughs> Let's see, this is so cute. Now this is a good deal, the Christmas stickers, a um, hundred piece gift stickers. That's a great price for them, but I usually just, you know, write with a Sharpie on there. <laughs> Every bow you can think of, you know, and some of these bows are very similar to the ones that they have at um, Hobby Lobby, but these are only a dollar. I only have one size though, but I think it's a good size, especially if you want bows on your, um, on like for me i have um on the railing on the stairs this cute i have a walkway on the upstairs part that you can see from downstairs and these bows are like perfect for that oh these are cute my girls would love these cute and the little headband it's adorable so i have to think about what i can get um for the class activity to do Christmas time. They're cute for bringing some Christmas cookies. All right, let me think. I just think this is so cute. The light up necklace. I wonder if it comes with the batteries because I can wear that to the class room. And then also this little bracelet. Adorable. It would get annoying after a while, but it's super cute. I mean, is it a look or what? So cute, right? <laughs> okay, I think I like this one better. How cute is that? Right? Which one do you guys like? They have the reindeer, Santa, the elf. But I think I'm feeling, these are the only ones left. Cute, I'm gonna get the ones on my head. Okay, I promise this is the last one. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so obsessed with like these. This is way too high. I feel like I would hit the door. <laughs> okay, now let's take a look at the fun stuff, the ornaments. It looks like the theme for um, the Dollar Tree again this year. It's like that rustic farmhouse kind of Christmas decor. I mean, how? what kind of style do you guys... Um, decorate Christmas with. It's like they have this rustic look. Some people just do all one color. Some people do traditional colors. Some people do like rainbow colors or pastels and stuff. Like this is kind of vintagey looking. It's very pretty. 
It's just not necessarily my style. I like a classic red and silver on my main tree. Um, I got a brand new tree. My in-laws surprised me with my dream tree. The one that I talk about in all of my Costco hauls um, during the months of um, October, November, and December is my dream tree. And they surprised me with it. So now I have an extra tree and now I need to get some ornaments for it. So um, like I said, on my main tree, I like to do silver and red. And I think um, on the second tree that I'm gonna give to my girls, I'll let them choose what they want to do and I have a little mini tree that goes in their playroom but like stuff like this love it I wish this was in silver else I'd get it it's kind of like a rust color but these kind of ornaments go really fast like really fast so I would suggest that you guys um, go to your local Dollar Tree now and get whatever it is that you want but they basically have traditional colors here I just like this look I'm, I'm actually really liking this gold I think in my other tree I might do um, gold, um, gold, red, and, and green maybe. How do you think that looks? Anyway, leave a comment down below and let me know what colors you decorate your tree with. Plus also the tree, my new tree, is nine feet and our old tree was seven feet. So I have to get more ornaments now and I'm like so excited about it. It like makes me want to put my tree up right now. Um, but I'm resisting the urge. Like when do you guys put your Christmas tree up? Because everybody on Instagram put their Christmas tree up on like November 1st. I typically did mine on Black, do mine on Black Friday. But now that I got this new tree, I'm like, mm, should I put it up now? They have it in white. It looks really good next to the silver, doesn't it? All right, let me grab those too. Because I remember seeing these at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago and they were like four or five bucks. But I do plan on going to Hobby Lobby. Hopefully um, they'll have a sale soon to get some more ornaments. I'm limiting myself on 10, girl, because I can be in here and all of a sudden you spend a hundred bucks at the Dollar Tree. I'm not trying to go there. But do you think that this is going to look right? Because I don't know if I have a lot of white. I primarily have just silver. It's so pretty though. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna get a hat instead. I just think they're so cute. Especially the up, up and down hat. Let's see, I'm gonna grab one. They have lots of other things here. They have Christmas lights. I'm trying to see what I can do for my daughter's class. Oh man, they, they used to have like, they're all out. I should have got it last month when I was here. It looks like they're all out. They had it like this, but it was in, it was like a snowman foam sheet. And the good stuff gets taken up so fast. I don't, yeah, they used to have like a white and it's a 12 piece. You get 12 of them for $1 and then you can decorate them pretty cheaply. I should have bought it. It was out in October, but I was just like, oh, I'll come back and now they're gone. They have lots of stockings, bags. And they're a really nice size too. They're very thin though, but um, they're cute. I wouldn't put anything too heavy in them if you're hanging them on your mantle. And the glassware, oh, they have the chargers out. Are these $1? See, I think it's cheaper if you go to big lots to get these chargers. I remember when I got married 10 years ago, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have these chargers. If you, if you need to buy a lot of them, it's better to go to big lots. We do have silver. I think the silver is stunning and red. If you need to just buy for your family, you know, for dinner or the holidays, it's really pretty. I love this. This is pretty too. These are cute too. Just FYI, if you're into pens, totally random. I am, by the way. Um, these have turned into like my favorite pens to write with right now. They have them in um, black. I've seen them in red and then they have them in blue here. And when I tell you they write so well, a dollar for three of them, it's like I'm becoming obsessed. I also bought these, but they're 0 0.7 milliliters and I'm more of a 0 0.5 girl. I'm not these, I didn't get these colors. I got this color, but I like them. I don't love them, but I like them. Um, but these are my favorites. I wish that they had um, different colors. I don't know who needs to hear this today, but just walk past the notebooks, sis. We don't need any more notebooks, none. Even if it has something cute on there and it's bright pink, just walk away. We're just gonna walk away. Here's some of the 
toys that they have in the toy aisle here. I don't see anything different per se. Um, oh, that's cute. Like for me, I have to watch because I get a bunch of like random stuff to stuff in there. Um, stocking stuffer it literally turns into declutter um, into clutter for us within a couple of months so um, I'm really trying to be conscious conscious this uh, holiday season because I don't want to have to turn around and declutter it three months from now now this is a really cute um, stocking stuffer so it comes with a little paint you can make a little door chime or wind chime it comes with the paint and everything you need to hang it it's like a fun activity you can do. And then they have like wood shop. You can make a bird feeder. I just think that's so cute. They have um, unicorns. Adorable. And then they have like the glitter glue sticks. My kids love these. So I've never seen these colors before. So I'm going to get this pack. They also sell this at um, Walmart. If you're looking for more colors. Like different colors. They sell really cute colors at Walmart. I think they're like $1.25. Stuff like this is cute. What is this? Paint set. Okay, the water looks like watercolor in there. That's cute. Transformers. Like, see, I would prefer stuff like this as opposed to stuff like this and this. Um, because like I said, it just turns into clutter for us. So I prefer like an activity of some sort, puzzle or anything like that. Uh, just something else for them, like an activity for them to do. Have you guys ever use this for your bathroom cleaner? I heard it works just like scrubbing bubbles. I think I was watching a YouTube video about it, how this works just like scrubbing bubbles. I don't use scrubbing bubbles, but I love to just spray and then let the cleaner do its work. Oh, they have Barbie clothes here. The brand Barbie. It's just like one piece though, it's like a skirt. For a dollar and then you have to buy the top separately so I don't really know if that's really a good deal little games those are fun too I use this for learning like addition for Ava my youngest she's in kindergarten oh I love this so this is a great idea that I've seen before you take this block you could put it in like a little tin box or whatever and then you can have like Legos on the go and then the kids can play with it and then put them all back in the little box but they can build on this plate and I think that's so cute you can get the Legos here the building blocks are called they have different colors but I think that's so cute oh my gosh Ava would love it this because she likes pretend money and I use pretend money to teach her how to count and stuff she would love that of course they have cars and motorcycles and stuff I'm a girl mom and my kids just love dolls and stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure this can turn into clutter too, especially like little toy cars. They do like little animal figurines as well. I mean, this would be great for a sensory um, box. My kids love kinetic sand, so that's great for that. Wow, and they have like a little pet shop. That's cute. Again, this turns into clutter for us too, but um, I'd rather get it here than pay five bucks at Target or Walmart. And with my little pony, they're super tiny though, so you have to be careful if your ch children are younger, but that's cute for, um, look at this, glow in the dark cow. The girls will love that, to put that in their room. Very cute. Of course they have slime, girl, but I've banned slime from my house. It's like, oh, Zara's been begging and begging, but we have ruined a pair of sheets because she slept with it in her hand. A dress and everything else. Ooh, they have some new pins and they're 0.5. I'm tempted, I'm tempted right now. Should I get it? Is that the color yellow? Oh no, it's black ink. And then blue ink. Just black and blue ink only. But just fun colors. I think that's really cute. Should I try it? I have to, I'm sorry. I can't do it, I just have to try it. Oh, they sell a two pack of time so for a dollar here. Hmm. I don't use Dell, that was a little strong for my skin. That's good to know. I, I mean, I cannot come to the Dollar Tree without coming on this aisle. You know, my girls, I let them use um, these kind of rubber bands for their dolls and stuff. Instead of them using my black rubber bands. So I'm going to get them some more for that. They have the cutest headbands here um, for kids. Just really cute. 
I mean, they have this kind of stuff, like with the characters and stuff, but then they have like, this kind of classic look. They have it in blue as well. It's really, really cute. Oh, what is this? Hmm, active pony. That's cool. Oh, for sweating, I see. It has like um, that kind of material that absorbs moisture, but it doesn't stretch. It's weird. It's really weird. I do need a new bun, hair donut, like bun former for my girls. The one that I have is too big because it's like one that for my size head. This was perfect though for them. They're all out, but they usually have the plumber's butter in travel size, which is cool, but they do have like a nice travel size sec section and I didn't realize this um, until a couple of months ago actually. Like you can get the, get the little travel size containers. And I had bought this before. It comes with a little loofah. Like I said, it's all for a dollar. And some of the stuff is named brand. I've seen the um, deodorant here and everything else. So that's cool. I always like to get my band-aids from here. It looks like they have the Charlie Brown one. Peanuts. Those are cute in three different kinds. Because these are the same band-aids that you can find at Target and Walmart for like three, almost four dollars sometimes. So I always love to see... They have ugly dolls, emojis, Spongebob. It's really cute. Barbie, gotten those too before. And the Secret Life of Pets is way back there. Also, I love to get the spray bottle hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide here. Even though it's a smaller container, it's just um, easier for me when the girls get a boo-boo or something. I just spray it with peroxide because it doesn't sting. Um, and I like to just have that on hand as opposed to having this big bottle. Now you can always, when you run out, you can always refill it with a big bottle. Hold up, hold up. Who knew the Dollar Tree has nail polish stickers? I am totally into nail polish stickers. I'm late to the game. I discovered them about a month ago and I absolutely love it. Um, I bought some from Walmart, but if they're only a dollar. I'd rather just try some from here Looks like you can only use one end though. My girls would like that, I like that, it's cute. I think I'm gonna try them. They also have really cute press-on nails. You know, press-on nails are all the rage now. All the rage. Did you know that the Dollar Tree has a clearance section? Cause I didn't know this until the last time I was in here, like a month ago, maybe two months now. But yeah, they have a clearance, like the Halloween candies on clearance. Right, 50 cents? Usually it's like damaged cans like this and stuff, but still, that's cool. Who knew that the Dollar Tree had these little miniature houses and they light up? OMG. It does not come with the lights in there, but you get those little tea lights to put in there and it lights up. Okay, let me show you all the ones. I've never seen this here before. So they have the bakery, they have the house, the post office, church that is so and then here's the tea lights that you get and then here are the people oh my goodness so cute and then the fake snow you can have a whole little village i have a few things but i don't have like a full-on village um i just don't know where i would put the full village at in my house but my mom does a really pretty full village at her house but that's that's really cool that they have them here can't come to the Dollar Tree without looking at this section because, you know, it's organizing containers. Who doesn't like to look at color-coded organizing containers? The little jewelry and hair clips, those make great stocking stuffers too. My kids like that. They put it in their little jewelry box and stuff. It's cute. All of this stuff here is so cute. Little key covers and lanyards. I love it. It's time to go, y'all. 24 hours later. All right, y'all. So I'm finally filming what I got from the Dollar Tree. So let me show you. So these are the ornaments that I decided to go with. Um, like I said, my tree is all silver and red. I'm hoping that these white ones will look right, but these were just so pretty, I could not resist getting them. And if they don't look right, I will put them on our other tree. So I got these two of these 
really pretty snowflakes, like layered snowflakes. They're very thick. They're not um, thin at all. There's like three layers of each with this little crystal in the center. So I got two of those. I got two of these little um, faux uh, glitter bells. And by the way, I have a lot of glitter um, ornaments on my tree already. And I just feel like these will go really well together. I have both silver and red glitter. So I have two of the bells here. Then I got these snowflakes. Um, and this is, uh, it's like kind of thick as well too, but it's just different. It's like plain silver and then just the glitter on this layer. So that's pretty, I got two of those and I got two of these angels. I believe I already have two of these angels, <clears throat> but um, I just added two more because I just think they're pretty. They're really nice weight. They're not too light, not too heavy. I just think it's gonna look great on my brand new tree. I got these two reindeer heads. I just think, I just thought they were so cute. I really did. Um, with the little bell on them and then two of the little churches. And then I got myself this headband for when I go to the class party for kindergarten for my daughter. I thought that was cute. And I got this little, um, it's a necklace that lights up, um, like lights. Then for my girls, for their stocking stuffers, these are just a few things that I picked up. I got them some bracelets. I got this wood activity that I showed in the store. I just think they're really gonna like that. And we may even do that before um, Christmas because when they're home from school um, for Christmas break, we'll need activities to do. I got some more glitter glue because they love this. They love these. Um, they will literally use these for hours just making all different types of stuff. So we got this. And then I'm gonna try the glitter glue sticks. Now, I just, I don't know. I've never used them before. So I'm thinking, well, when you wanna change colors, is it a real pain in the butt to change colors? You know, um, leave a comment down below and let me know um, if you've used those. And then for the house, I bought this bathroom cleaner because I told y'all, I heard that this works just as well as scrubbing bubbles. Um, leave a comment down below if you've ever used it. I cannot wait to try these pens. And then I got these elastics for my girls for their dolls. They like to pretend to do their hair while I'm, their doll's hair while I'm doing their hair. So this is for them and I'll put them in a little container. I got a new hair donut for them for when they wear their buns. So that is it. That's all I got. I I spent $25.44, um, which isn't bad. Um, like I said, most of that was, was the ornaments that I needed for our new Christmas tree. So now I need to get lots of ornaments, new ornaments, because I'm giving our seven foot tree to my girls for them to decorate. So I do need a lot of or ornaments and I'm thinking about going to Hobby Lobby and maybe doing a comparison between Hobby Lobby and Walmart. Leave a comment down below and let me know of any recommendations I can get um, new ornaments from because you know I have a nine foot tree now and I need new ornaments for that and ornaments for my kids to decorate, more ornaments for them to decorate. So I'm so, so excited about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Have you put your Christmas tree up yet? I mean. On Instagram, it seems like everybody's put their Christmas tree up yet, but I just like to honestly, personally wait until Black Friday to do it. Um, it's something that I do with my family and we just love it. So leave a comment down below and let me know when you put your Christmas decor up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to Jay Morrell for collabing with me on this video. Make sure you guys go check out her channel, subscribe. I know you won't be sorry. I know you'll love her content. And if you're from Jay Morrell's channel, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye